log and welcome back guys today in this video we are going to create a dynamic labeling in power bi using concatenate x as you can see it is getting updated in the kpi card as per the product type as we are choosing so now let's begin into the process so first i'll import all the data sets in this case we have three different table that is data table product table and sales table so first i have imported the date table and i'll be loading this into the power bi model we have to allow a few moments to get it loaded into the power bi so it has been loaded next i'll import the next table that is product table and i'll choose the products similarly i'll be loading the sales table as well all these three books are in excel sx format so i have chosen the excel sx format only so it will be loaded into the power bi so let me quickly go back to the table view and show you one by one what are the attributes are present in this tables each table so this is the product table this is the sales table and let me go back to the modeling part so let me check what are the models it has been created and how it is connected so let me quickly arrange this because i usually keep all the many sides table in the bottom and one side table in the up so let me quickly rearrange this and as you can see there is no connection between date and sales table so i'll create a connection between date and sales table so that it it can work or it can act as a filtering based upon the selection so i'll drag it to the sales date as you can see it has created one to many relationship let me go to the report and i'll show you what are the attributes is present in the field section as well for each table i have expanded all the three tables let me click on the new measure and i'll create a create that kpi chart for that i'll create a dax function so i'll use i'll write it as chosen products category so basically i'll choose the categories product categories over here and i'll i'll put equals and i'll write it as showing sales for colon space i'll close this with inverted comma i'll concatenate this string with the formula so i'll use the this ampersand sign and i'll write that function that is concatenate x in this case it is asking for the table so to insert this table i'll be wrapping this up along with values so in this case i'll be choosing product type I'll close this bracket so it will pass this as table. I'll put comma. Right now it's asking for the expression. So I'll write what are the expression I need. So I need, need product type as expression to be displayed in the KPI card. So I'll put comma. Right now it's asking for delimiter. I'll choose comma again, comma along with space. So I'll put comma and right now it's asking for order by expression same thing i'll choose product type and right now it's asking for whether it is ascending or descending order so i'm writing as ascending order i'll be closing this bracket and hit enter key and our kpi card product is ready so let me collapse this and bring a kpi card onto our visuals and i'll choose this chosen product category as you can see it has been it has come into one single this KPI card because right now it has selected all the three so let me quickly go back to the format and I'll resize this font size I'll make this font size a little bit lower so that it can accommodate in one single KPI card and that also it will look nice let me quickly arrange this I'll bring a filter over here and where we can choose our product type. So as you can see, our apparel, electronics and food, all the three product types 
it has come as i am choosing one by one it is getting up updated accordingly let me bring one table as well matrix table so in this case i'll choose the product name along with the total sales so basically the idea is once we update from the filter our product type it will also getting updated into the dynamic uh, kpi card as well as this matrix so as you can see uh, let me quickly rearrange all the three tables as well as cards and the filter area okay so i'm done i'll collapse this filter pane and i'll adjust this size around 100 percent as you can see so i'll let me resize this table as well so that it can be seen in the one single view now let me choose this food or electronics or apparel as you can see it is updating this dynamic leveling as well so let me choose all these three and it has been updated so it has been updated currently it is super exciting give it a try and you'll enjoy this thank you so much So that's all for now. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Till then, take care. Bye bye. And I'll see you with another new exciting video. Thank you. Bye bye.